Ramses II is arguably one of the greatest pharaohs of ancient Egypt, and also one of its most well-known. Ramses II, the third pharaoh of the 19th dynasty, ascended the throne of Egypt during his late teens in 1279 BC following the death of his father, Seti. He is known to have ruled ancient Egypt for a total of 66 years, outliving many of his sons in the process, although he is believed to have fathered more than 100 children. As a result of his long and prosperous reign, Ramses II was able to undertake numerous military campaigns against neighboring regions, as well as build monuments to the gods, and of course, to himself. One of the victories of Ramses II, reign was the Battle of Kadesh. This was a battle fought between the Egyptians, led by Ramses II and the Hittites under Muwadhali for the control of Syria. The battle took place in the spring of the 5th year of the reign of Ramses II, and was caused by the defection of the Amuru from the Hittites to Egypt. This defection resulted in a Hittite attempt to bring the Amuru back into their sphere of influence. Ramses II would have none of that and decided to protect his new vassal by marching his army north. The pharaoh's campaign against the Hittites was also aimed at driving the Hittites, who have been causing trouble for the Egyptians since the time of the pharaoh Thutmose III, back beyond their borders. Ramses came to power some decades after the reign of the religious, reformer Akhenaten, Amenhotep IV, 1353-36 BC, and set about restoring Egyptian power in Asia, which had declined under Akhenaten and his successor, Tutankhamun. Ramses' father, Sidi, subdued a number of rebellious, princes in Palestine and southern Syria and waged war on the Hittites of Anatolia in order to recover those provinces in the north, that during the recent troubles had passed from Egyptian to Hittite control. Sidi achieved some success against the Hittites at first, but his gains were only temporary, for at the end of his reign the enemy was firmly established on the Orant River at Kadesh, a strong fortress defended by the river, which became the key to their southern frontier. During his reign city gave the crown prince Ramses, the future Ramses II, a special status as regent. City provided him with a kingly household and harem, and the young prince accompanied his father on his campaigns, so that when he came to sole rule, he already had experience of kingship and of war. It is noteworthy that Ramses was designated as successor at an unusually young age, as if to ensure that he would in fact succeed to the throne. He ranked as a captain of the army while still only 10 years old. At that age his rank must surely have been honorific, though he may well have been receiving military training. Because his family's home was in the Nile River Delta, and in order to have a convenient place for campaigns in Asia, Ramses built for himself a full-scale residence city called Parameses, which was famous for its beautiful layout, with green space, and nice waters. Each of its four corners had its own deity, Amon in the west, Seth in the south, the royal cobra goddess, Widget, in the north, and, significantly, the Syrian goddess Astarte in the east. A vogue for Asian deities had grown up in Egypt, and Ramses himself had distinct leanings in that direction. The first public act of Ramses after his accession to Seoul rule was to visit Thebes, the southern capital, for the great religious festival day of Opet, when the god Amon of Karnak made a visit the temple of Luxor. When returning to his home in the north, the king broke his journey at Abydos to worship Osiris and to arrange for the resumption of work on the great temple founded there by his father, which had been interrupted by the old king's death. He also took the opportunity to appoint as the new high priest of Amon at Thebes a man named Nebwinanef, high priest of Anhur at nearby, Venice. Wait for us in next video, we have more, don't forget to subscribe, thanks for watching.